Hi, I'm Jim from EasyTankless.com. Today I am going to speak about the three basic types of gas-fired tankless water heaters. There is the traditional type that's been around for quite some time. We're going to call it a draft type. This model here is a draft type heater. Then you have a forced air or non-direct vent this is kind of the middle of the advancement of the technology in tankless water heaters. Then we have the latest in the technology and what is believed to be the final evolution. These are called direct vent or balanced or dual chamber types. This model here being one of those. To point out the differences, I will return here to the older one. So a draft type heater, basically, you have a combustion chamber with tubes that the water is running through. And the newer type ones have the same thing. Inside here you have a gas fire going like your barbecue grill or your stove. And this fire is heating this water in this combustion chamber that's going through here. And then exhaust gases, which contain carbon monoxide, typical things just like with your furnace, are rising out of it by a natural draft. A natural draft is like your chimney or your fireplace. The rising gases are lifted out through an exhaust. This particular model has a pilot light and also because it is non-electrical, it has a ignition device like on your barbecue grill. So this being older technology. Now, modern direct vent and non-direct vent models will always have a cord. The reason being that when you plug this unit into the wall, an electrical supply is going to power a fan which forces air into the combustion chamber for a much more efficient and hotter process of heating the water. You'll also see most modern direct vent models will have a control panel either mounted on the heater or it will be a remote control unit that you can mount in your kitchen or, or somewhere in the house. This particular model from EasyTankless.com has three buttons on the control panel, an off on switch, and a up and down button for controlling the temperature of the water. So non-direct vent means that you are taking in your combustion air from the room in which the heater is mounted. So on a non-direct vent model, you should be seeing a grill panel here or underneath or on the sides where air is, is drawn in by the fan. With a direct vent or a balanced one, you also have intake air coming from outside and the exhaust exiting the building. You're not affecting your atmosphere that it's mounted in. So you can imagine if you're taking your air in on the side of the body of the heater or even on the, the simple draft models, that air that's in that room that the heater is requiring for combustion may be heated air. Say you live in a northern climate and it's very cold. In the winter time you may actually have the heated air in your home being extracted by your tankless water heater. With the direct vent or balanced type you don't have that problem either. In the summertime it can be extracting your air conditioning from the room. So you have air for your combustion that is drawn in from outside the location of the heater and you have your exhaust going back outside. The advantages of direct vent 
heaters are many, and it is believed that this is the final evolution of this technology. Direct vent heaters will have either two pipes on top, one being intake and one being exhaust, or the two pipes will be built together. Easy Tankless is one of the first manufacturers to have the exhaust and the intake built into one pipe. And that is what I'm holding in my hand here is an example of a pipe that would fit this particular model of heater. How it works is that there are two pipes built in one. You can see here that in the center is one pipe and then there is an, a larger pipe around it. The center pipe is the exhaust and the outer area is the intake. Looking at the other end, we have an intake area here. This is where the air is going in, and this would be the exhaust. So advantages, you only have one hole in your home, but also with intake air passing through this pipe, you have a much cooler exhaust pipe. This pipe is going to be much cooler. For the very latest in tankless water heater technology, see easytankless.com. Thank you for watching our video.